So welcome to Python for Beginners. And in this video, we're going to do chapter seven. And chapter seven is file handling. Now, obviously, file handling is important if you want to save things to a file or read things from a file. So it's an essential skill in programming. And it allows you to read the data from a file, write data to files, and manage information persistently. So in this chapter, we're going to cover the basics of working with files in Python. You're going to learn reading from files, writing to files, appending to files, and managing file paths. By the end of the chapter, you'll be able to use Python to interact with text files effectively. Now, if you haven't done so already, please consider buying the book. Every little bit helps. Help me to do the next book, which I'm hoping to do on GUIs. I want to do uh, programming GUIs in Python. So what I've done is I've created a text file, and this is the text file, it just says hello world, and chapter 7, Python for beginners, and I saved that as sample.txt. Now what we're going to do, I'm just going to close my text editor, and we are going to use Python to open that. So the first thing, I've opened a blank editor page, and I'm going to say file equals open, and then I'm going to use the file name, so it's going to be sample text close my quotes i'm going to quote r as my mode so now i'm opening the file and i'm opening it as file and then i'm going to read the content of the file so content is going to equal file.read and that's going to read the entire contents of the file and then i'm just going to print content and that's the contents of the file so so essentially what we've done is we've said file is equal to this open function sample.txt in read mode and then content is going to equal that file.read and then we're just going to print the content now one thing we should do whenever we open a file we should always close it so i'm going to say file.close and just close it there so before i run that i'm just going to say file.close so let's see what it does i'm going to say file I'm going to say run module, say OK to save in it. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. And I'm going to save it as chapter 7. And there we go. So hello world, chapter 7, Python for beginners. So that works very well. So now if we want to write to a file, I'm just going to close that output. If we want to write to a file, we're going to open that file in write mode. So where we had read mode up here, I'm just going to highlight that and change it to a W, write mode, remember the three modes, read, write, and append. And so I'm going to write the contents of the file, and we're going to change this name to just output.txt, so we can keep our sample file. And I'm going to say file.write this time, so I'm going to get rid of these things here, and I'm going to use file.write. This is a new file. And I'm going to use this backslash n. Now backslash n just means a line, a new line. So that's what we're going to do there. And then I'm going to say file.write. File is easy in Python. And again, a backslash n gives us a new line. Close that. And then, of course, we're going to close the file after that. So let's give that a go. I'm just going to hit F5. I'll say OK to save in it. And then, remember, we won't see anything on the screen because we didn't tell it to do any output. So let me see what that looks like. So I'm going to open that file. And the file is called output. And there you can see this is a new file. File handling is easy in Python. So it wrote that file, and we closed that file. So what do you think would happen if we write to the file again? If you open the same file in write mode and you write to it again, the existing contents is just going to be overwritten. You're going to basically start from the beginning of the file and it doesn't care that there's contents in there. So the first write call creates a file named output.txt and writes two lines to it. And the second write call would erase the original content and write a new line. So when using write mode, we're overwriting that file. So we got to make sure that the, the modes are in quotes and make sure that we set it up right. So 
why don't you try this create a file and write some content to it open the file again in write mode and add different content and observe how the file changes essentially you're going to overwrite everything so the next thing we need to know is how to open it in append mode so we're going to change that w up there we're going to change it to an a that's append mode and then we're just going to use the same file.write and what we can say is um, let's just add another line so i'm just going to give it some other text and we'll give it one more and then we'll f5 that so we'll f5 that and we'll say okay and of course there's no output from python but what we'll do is we'll go back into our editor and here's the file again so it's updated in here this is a new file file handling is easy in python then it's add another line and add one more so we can continue to add lines to this file as you can see very easily by using the append mode so now the other thing we can do for better file management is we can use the with statement and it automatically closes the file for you so you don't have to worry about remembering to close it so if we read using the with statement we can do the exact same thing we just say with and i'm just gonna let me type that for you that line we're gonna say with open and this time we'll reopen our sample.txt of course when you open in a file it has to exist so if you if it doesn't exist you're going to get an error and i'm not checking to see if it exists first in this simple example but that's something you would normally do so then content equals file dot read and we're just going to print remember it's a function so it's put in braces content i'm just going to get rid of those last three lines and we're going to just run that one and then here we see hello world chapter seven so it works just the same way but now i don't have to worry about closing the file because it's going to automatically close for us so that's the simple with statement and then one thing we want to think about is how to manage your file path so when working with files you may need to specify their location on your computer use absolute or relative path so relative path refers to files location relative to your program so for instance because we're just given the file name that has to be in the same place as my program is or if it's somewhere else you can use uh, for instance if i said in here if i said that was data slash so that would expect it to be in a in a folder called data an absolute path is of course i'm going to tell it exactly where it is so i might want to say c colon forward slash users slash data slash sample so that would be the absolute path now to create a folder named data and place of a file inside it uh, you can figure out how to do that and and use both relative and absolute paths to access the file so very simple this chapter is very easy to open and read and write and append to files and you can easily reference a file that's somewhere else on your system all you're doing is writing and reading text files it's simple just to open it and read through it and then be able to to bring that in now of course there are other elements to the file management and one of the things is obviously reading a line at a time and then process in that line and you can do that with the read line function so give that a try see how it goes if you have questions feel free to leave me questions in the comments below if you have input uh, you know things you'd like to see again just leave me a comment um, i always look at the comments i will always respond and hopefully this is helping you to get through python in a very simple and easy to understand way and in small bites Next chapter, we're going to look at object-oriented programming. So we're going to take a look at a powerful way to organize and structure your programs for greater flexibility and reusability. Now, if you've enjoyed this video and if you're enjoying the book, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and you can certainly become a patron on Patreon. Um, the, the book itself is available as an electronic version, an ebook, or you can get a paperback, or you can get the hard copy. Uh, it's well worth a read and it works well with this video uh, series thanks appreciate your support 
and I'll see you in the next one.